Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I am an adrenal fatigue recovery ninja and I help people that are suffering with adrenal fatigue nightmares get their life back. Today I want to talk to you about adrenal fatigue and normal labs. How many times have you gone to the doctor and they say all your blood tests are normal, that there's no such thing as adrenal fatigue, and that maybe we should get you on some antidepressant medication or mood enhancements or maybe you should see a psychologist because obviously because your lab tests are normal that you must be making this up and nothing must be going on. And I think that's absolute BS. If I could swear I probably would but I'm not going to do that. But anyways, so what I want to talk to you about is I got a letter from someone and they asked me, this is what they wrote, hi I just wanted to know if um, the adrenal saliva um, profile tests are normal or are, are accurate. Um, my cortisol looks okay, but every uh, but my DHEA is low. Um, everything everyone thinks that my adrenals are fine, um, but my blood pressure is 85 over 55 sometimes. My my digestion is slow. Um, and it is impaired no matter what I do. I don't have any appetite. So what I want to first tell you is there's a difference between subjective and objective. And what does that mean? It means basically a lot of the normal lab tests are based on very wide, uh, wide ranges of highs and lows. So if you have a very diverse population, and mostly sick by the way, that take these lab tests, then they're going to have a high range of high and low. And unless you're actually sicker than they are, then you're going to be told you're normal. And when it comes to an adrenal saliva index, a lot of the times the tests don't tell us full blown, okay, you have adrenal fatigue. It shows nuances. So there could be a little bit lower in the morning than it should be or a little bit higher than it should be. Um, it may not be a nice optimal curve. Um, we may have some low DHEA and that's the only thing we see. You got to realize that your body is very, very highly regulated. It maintains a certain temperature. It maintains a certain blood pressure. It maintains a certain heart rate, it maintains a certain pH in your body, and it's got to work really, really hard in order to do that. And when it does that, it spends all the energy and resources to do that. It doesn't have energy and resources to have a lot of brain function, so we have brain fog. It doesn't have a lot of resources to maintain your electrolytes or your mineral balance, so you're peeing out every time you drink water. Um, it doesn't have a lot of extra energy to feel like you're waking up like a champion and getting out of bed and ready to tackle the day. It doesn't have energy to sustain us throughout the entire day so that by, by the time 3 o'clock comes or by the time 3 in the morning comes, we're either really, really tired or we're getting stimulated and we're waking up. So you got to think of it more in terms of subjective components um, versus what the objective tests say. Um, I'll always defer to the subjective components um, and I'll always accept what you're telling me because I don't think you're crazy. Um, furthermore, we have me metabolic assessment forms that we look over that actually point to adrenal problems. So not being able to stay asleep, craving salts, being a slow starter in the morning, having afternoon fatigue, dizziness when you stand up quickly, afternoon headaches, headaches when you exert or you have anything, any types of stressors, you have weak nails, potentially you can't fall asleep, you perspire very easily, you're under high amounts of stress, you gain weight very easily even under stress, you wake up tired no, many, no matter how much sleep you had, and potentially there's excess perspiration. If you have any of those subjective complaints and your blood pressure in this lady's case was 85 over 55, then I know that your adrenals are really, really tired. The second thing I would say is a lot of people are told, told that their adrenal tests are normal, but what tests did they actually perform? Did they test you with just a morning cortisol level, which didn't look at your circadian rhythms, doesn't look at any feedback loops, doesn't look at how the receptors are binding or how hormones are being converted or how they're being utilized? If that cortisol level was normal or in the, high, in the low end of normal, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean that you don't have adrenal fatigue. Last, the second lastly is how are your blood sugar levels? Are you crashing after a meal? Do you feel shaky, lightheaded, and dizzy before you have a meal? Do you get energized? Do you crave for sweets? No matter how much sweets you crave for, it doesn't matter. You still need sweets. Or after a meal, you need a sweet right away. If you have any blood sugar issues, then you probably have an adrenal fatigue issue. And guess what? Your blood tests are normal. Your insulin levels look probably pretty good. Your A1C levels look pretty good. Because the 
the body is really amazing at regulating a certain uh, baseline metabolism where it, it's able to fool the doctors and tell you that there's nothing wrong. And then lastly, are there any specific findings? Like I mentioned, this lady's blood, blood pressure was 85 over 55. Um, potentially, we get faintish when we stand up qu too quickly. Potentially, we perspire easily. Potentially, we drink something and we have to pee right away. If you have any of these objective findings, then there's a good chance that you have an adrenal fatigue problem. And what I'm going to tell you is there's no such thing as adrenal fatigue. What does that mean? That means that adrenal fatigue is way, way down the stream to mitochondrial dysfunction. So more than anything, if you have everything that we talked about, you have mitochondrial dysfunction. Your body's not making energy effectively. It's deficient in terms of supply equals to demand. And when that happens, we have to put a priority system in the body so that we do the things that we need to do like fight infections, make immune cells, be able to uh, regenerate our DNA at the expense of your thyroid, at the expense of handling blood sugar, at the expense of um, your adrenal glands. So um, although there is an adrenal component, more than anything, it's a mitochondrial component. So anyways, I hope you got a lot of value out of this uh, edition of a, Your Adrenal Fix. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, a like, a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, check me out on Facebook, or check out my blog at adrenalfatiguesociety.com. Look forward to helping you with your adrenal fatigue nightmare. Thank you so much.